got there, Dan. That hurts. For the 1901? Yep. Boom. And then next, we got. Here's that high, high horsepower quarter. Which makes no sense. ECM. Getting ready to go in. So I'm going to pull, hook up to the stock file get everything ready and then Dan's gonna install this. I'll come back. All right, so the 19 ZR1s come with E99 ECMs. They're not like the E92s that come in the C7 and the C7Z06s and the Camaros and so forth. So we have to either send his ECM in uh, to have HP tuners unlock it, or we just buy an aftermarket, a whole nother ECM from HP tuners, which is what we did here. So we go to replace ECM. And then after I run all this procedures, then we install the new one, and then we can go from there. The super expensive E99 ECM. I think my little hands would be better. I hate doing that, bro. I don't know, I. Every time I've done it, I hate it. The TCM's easy, the ECM's, I don't know why I hate doing them. Old. You need a light? Not quite yet. Have you installed the new replacement ECM? Yes. Complete. All right, so one of the procedures that takes forever is the immobilizer reload. I've been here for about 20 minutes now. Hopefully almost done. There's a lot of steps you have to do when you replace an ECM in one of these cars. Beautiful F body. What a beaut. That's the wife's. One day it'll run. Until then, Dan's got the factory X pipe off. Manifold's coming off next.
What do you think? Have this done in two days? Huh? Or it was a GM airbox he supplied us, right? Just a GM performance airbox, not our five inch. So I guess we would just do that first with headers. Show him what it makes, and if he wants more, then we'll do uh, what we normally do to these cars. But for now, he's just getting the GM airbox, headers, and a tune. I have a feeling we're going to add more to it after we dyno it. Yeah, I've been here for a while. <laughs> How many miles on this one? Like 2,000? I think there's 2,000 miles on it. Yes, yeah, definitely drain the fuel out. The first pull I made detonated its ass off. Second pull I made detonated its ass off. And then I stopped. It only made like 607 and 608 baseline in it. So yeah, when you're done, definitely drain the fuel or have some. I'll drive it home before I put on the dyno and tune it. Otherwise, definitely drain the fuel and put good 93 in it. Are you done? <laughs> huh? It's done. Okay. Just add oil. Add oil? It needs oil? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Don't mind me. I'm just being the camera guy since we don't have any camera guys. <laughs> one inside today. <laughs> oh, there's one here today? Yeah. Okay. For those of you watching, we've had guys call in sick the past couple days, so I decided to grab a GoPro and hit the button myself, and I don't know if it's recording or not, but I'm going to try. Dan is finishing up this 19 ZR1 with the GM airbox and American Racing headers, some NGK spark plugs, and some Firecore spark plug wires. And then, yeah, we installed the ECM yesterday, and I did all the programming yesterday. Oh, and she runs. Fire in the hole. Oh, 
Open that exhaust up. I don't know why, but I love the smell of uh, new headers. She smokes a little bit. I love initial fire up of your build, even though this one isn't nothing crazy yet. All good? What are we gonna do next? Then is it ready for me or what? Yeah. Alright. We'll get it get it off the rack and then we'll get them done. Action. Alright guys, looks like we got our second UPS order in of the day. And got some new marks for you guys at home looking for some new gear to wear. Another LMR shirt with the Texas Star. On the back of it, and that's actually my favorite shirt yet that we've designed. Also, another LMR shirt with the faded flag on the back. Right Looks good as well. So for those of you who want some new merch, some new t-shirts, go to InShaneDesigns.com to get yours today. And also have a chance to win a new 2020 Raptor truck. Later, guys. ZR1 Corvette. Uh, he supplied us with a GM airbox. Uh, just the GM Performance airbox. It's still a plastic airbox with a little bit air, better air filter than stock. And we went ahead and installed a set of American Racing headers on this one. So nothing crazy. Not one of our packages. No more boost. Just really a, a car that makes a little bit more horsepower than stock and it sounds a little bit better than stock. So. Um, I think it dynoed at like 607 the tires was really low on the baseline. I don't know if you had bad gas in it or what, but after we did the cold air, which really doesn't gain that much over the factory air box, um, it's really just like an air filter change. The headers pick up a little bit, but we don't turn the boost up much. You're really not gaining much from the headers. Just in my opinion, it just sounds 10 times better now. And then tuning it obviously helped tremendously. So we went from I think 607 to almost 670 to the tires and torque is about the same. So we picked up about 60 or 70 rear wheel horsepower, 60 and 70 rear wheel torque, uh, all while the car still drives like a stock car. Um, I have a feeling he's gonna get the car, drive it for a little while, and send it back and say, okay, give me more horsepower. <laughs> uh, just had lunch with Mr. Piazza, one of our good customers. He has a C7 Corvette with 1200 rear wheel horsepower. So he's used to cars like this, so 
I don't think I'm gonna scare him too much. He's used to and it's okay. He's used to the crazy stuff. So I am gonna make a quick little third gear pull with the car's supposed to ship, I think, uh, later today or the end of this week. So I'm just gonna do a little third and fourth gear pull. It is on the factory tires, so I'm not gonna go too crazy. Go like 3,000 RPMs and just gotta roll into it. <laughs> those of you that are new to the channel please hit that subscribe button uh, those of you that follow our channel I greatly appreciate it please leave it a thumbs up or a thumbs down and as always leave comments below and be checking for future videos in the pipeline we have uh, one of everything that's being built we have a new truck that's gonna be a twin turbo setup we have a new C7Z06 in the pipeline about to make a whole bunch of horsepower we have a Z01 Camaro that's gonna be a crazy drag car and we even have a CTSV it's going to make a whole bunch of horsepower and look good doing it. So check back soon. Later.